What is going on, folks? Here I am, back for episode three, which is for part three of the Voracious Resurgence quest line, the last quest line of Final Fantasy XI, apparently. So, I am finally back on my main character, is Rafelax. And so I have to prove that I have finished up to episode, or up to part two, at least. I have gone and gotten the uh, perfect lucky egg right here. And let me just uh, double check here. Missions, add-ons, Dancing Prince. I'm on Dancing Prince. And that's the one right there, Dancing Prince. Speak to Halver in Chateau de Oragil. Whatever that is. Um, I hope I haven't started it. It says Rahal, the royal leader of the royal knights, can tell you more. Okay, so I haven't been. To Wait. Maybe I have already done the Halver, the Halver start cutscene. Do I really need to worry about that cutscene? I'm gonna do it right for you. So let me take a break here. Go back onto Andy. Get the cutscene, and then take over with Israfel. So, bear with me while I change characters. Pardon me. All right, here I am back on Andy. Definitely haven't seen the cutscene yet on Andy, so let's talk to Halver. Greetings, Andy Plays Games. I have an important task with the benefit of the adventure of the keen eye and swift feet. You see, something rather unfortunate happened the other day. You summoned me, your majesty. Thank you for coming, Halver. Okay, okay, obviously I have eternity still going. Stop it. Lua, unload eternity. Come on now, stop it. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and read all that. So, let me just get through it. Professional streamer here, guys. So, Halberger went in, talked to the king, came back, asked me a question, and I said, Sure. Says, Go to Rahal. Okay, so what did he say? Greetings, Andy plays games. You see, you rather something unfortunate. Thank you for coming, Halber. Dustin says, There's a. Um, there's a pressing matter I want to discuss with you, or perhaps I it would be more accurate to say I have a favor to ask of you. You see, House Vergot is having a party, a ball to be more precise, the first time, first in a long while. Perhaps you've heard the news. Talk of the town. Family is quite a long and storied history. Manners filled with beautiful young ladies. Nice. Um, adorned with various hues and fineries. I still dream of the parties of this day. Parties to this day. There's a beautiful woman unaware of the time. Their fates bound by destiny. Uh, those are exciting times. Ah, forgive me, Your Majesty. Yes. What do you wish to say about the upcoming ball? Um, oh, he says. Uh, there you go again, Halvor. I did not summon you here to share your stories. To, for you to share your stories. Um, the same Prince Tryon who flees a mere mention of a word ball. Um, Yes, there's a very the very same. He finds arts, uh, diplomacy, and socializing while at the ball b bore him to no end. Now that you mention that, I remember him leaving the last ball the moment he received word that the orcs were planning to attack Chateau de Oragil. Um, let's see. I learned afterwards that his hastily formed plan. Here we go. A hastily formed plan could have easily been thwarted by the royal knights alone. At the time before that, he mysteriously fell ill as soon as the uh, as soon as he arrived at the house Vergot's manor. Indeed, I always worried about the timing of myself. And have you forgotten? Once he left the house, he seemed to be in perfect physical condition, that mounted atop his chocobo. Yes, I suppose he did. However, the purpose of the upcoming ball was to somewhat uh, different than before. A large number of foreign dignitaries have been invited. 
Uh, as Prince of the Kingdom of Sandoria, his presence is necessary to convey the air of dignity and authority. That is why I have summoned Tryon in order to and ordered him or that he dutifully represent the kingdom of the ball kingdom at this ball. However, the fact that he loathes dancing with every fiber of his being, that is why I've called upon you, Halver. You ask the impossible, Your Majesty. I am afraid that it will be hard enough to get Prince Tryon to enjoy the ball, let alone fix everything that ails his technique, to put it gently. Uh, however, what are you talking about? I'm going to have to learn Prince, teach Prince Trine how to dance. Uh, whatever are you talking about, I merely want you to take necessary precautions for any contingencies that might arise. Contingencies? Uh, I just know that what, what to do, in fact, I would be willing to bet my life on it, so that is what I have in mind. In order to ensure Prince Tran attends the ball, we must preve prevent any un unexpected emergencies that might give him an excuse to leave. Therefore, you will need to put a stop to any incidents like what happened with the orcs last time before they before they happen. To that end, I asked for Hall, leader of the Royal Knights, about orc activity in the area. He requested that I send him a skilled adventurer. Okay, that's where I come in, I guess. Naturally, I thought of you first, so you would be willing to help us. Uh, you have the gratitude now. Uh, please visit Rahal and fill you in the details. Okay. So. Logging out. Prince Tryon needs to go to the ball. But he does needs to have no excuses to leave the ball because he doesn't like the ball. So I need to get rid of any excuses that he might have to leave the ball. Okay. There's the update. Oh. Uh, Alright, here I am back on Israfel X. Now, I have every job leveled to 99. But, and, but I have... I have enough gear, enough 119 gear for every job to have a full set of 119 gear. It's going to be, some of them are going to be better, some of them are going to be just junk gear that I happen to have laying around, but they'll suffice for minor fights. The question is, what job do I want to take to do most of this stuff? Preferably one with movement speed. Um, my best gear jobs, as you can see here, I have Dark Knight. I wouldn't say my Dark Knight is well geared. But I do have a APOC level 119, um, second highest tier. The highest tier is like um, the extra, like the, I'm, I'm sorry, the um, it is maxed out except for the um, Dynamis Divergent points that go into upgrading the, um, modifying it. So, augmenting it, sorry. So, um, same with my Monk. I have Sfari maxed out except for the... Um, the augments. Um, but let me just see here. So, I have all 22 jobs leveled up. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go onto my Google machine here and random number generator. Minimum is 1, maximum is 22. And I'm going to generate a, a thing. And whatever one it comes up with, that's the job I'm going to play. 14. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Dragoon. Or, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, Dragoon or Thief, depending on which way I count. Dragoon or thief, depending on which way I count. Thief will be definite for the movement speed. I believe I have the jute boots plus one, right? Do I have the jute boots? Yeah, jute boots plus one. That's movement speed plus 18%, so that's good. I got that, plus it's 119. I don't want to wear crappy shoes like uh, the, the Scotty's Jumbo and my other character. Um... So that's that. Of course, um, I would have movement speed plus 18 also on my Carmine Quesis for Dragoon as well. So, either way, I'll have movement speed covered. Do I need any treasure hunter for this stuff? I don't know. I don't necessarily want to look ahead. Um, what's more fun? Dragoon or Thief? I 
probably change my mind anyway. Let's go Dragoon. How about that? Or Thief. Tell me in the chat which one I should do. Even though I'm already about to do it. Dragoon. Samurai. Okay, let's see what I got. Ooh, I know what I, I got. Uh, Nagling here for the uh, Savage Blade. Do I have a decent shield for Dragoon to use? Do I have any shield that Dragoon can use? Should just go or be a real Dragoon and get a pole arm. The Gay Derg. Plus one. That's decent. Malignant's pole. Hmm. Damage taken minus 20%. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go Gay Derg. Um, let's see. I need a strap of some kind. Double attack, I guess. An uh, umber strap. Uh, let's go double attack. I got some Valoris mask. I got Valoris mail. Pseudolavius plate mail I could use for... Which one looks the coolest? Listering salad. Terminal helm. Let's go Pseudolavius set. Except for my pants. I need the uh, carmines. Hmm. Let's just do this for the for the stuff, for the fun. Um, Brigantia's Mantle. All jump attacks to double, double attack 20%. I don't have any upgrades to that, though. Um, defending Ring. Um, and... Gelatinous Ring. Damage taken minus 7%. Sure. So I got a bunch of damage taken minus on this gear. So that sounds good. I got a decent, uh, decent collar here too. Muscrovia torque, Muscrovia, and steel flash bladeborn, Jensen. Serviceable gear for what I'm doing anyway. So dragon samurai, here we go. And I got the movement speed. All right, let's go. Let's do this. 13 minutes into the video. <laughs> Finally getting uh, getting going here. <laughs> Let me first run to Bastok and get Signet. So much gear it takes forever to fully load in. Also, config, gameplay. Oh, there's volume better for you guys. There we go. Probably can actually hear it now. Um, let's see here. Everything set up right. Chat filters. That's right, get rid of these shouts and yells. Oh, that's right, achievements. Not achievements. Um, Faniversary 15. Signet, yes, please. Or Signet BRB. should have done is 
done this in my stock mines. So I would already be at a survival guide. Oh wait, damn it! Devoy is after this next cutscene. I need to go talk to Rahal still. Now I've got to wait for this to load in again. Sandoria North number two. Must be Israel Felix, the adventurer Morlaeus Monarleus Halver spoke up. Yes, you shall do nicely. You're worried about orc activity? Try Prince Trian's response to orc activity. If you respect Prince Trian's feelings, you would do best to refrain from assisting Halver. Although I cannot understand why the good prince loathes attending balls so much. I'm actually quite accomplished dancer myself. Well, all right then. Sounds like he needs to learn how to dance from you. Well, enough of that for now. First things first, we need to investigate any potential orc threats before they can divert the prince's attention. I sent scouts to both orc strongholds in Devoy and Gelsba outpost. I sent scouts to both I sent scouts to both Orc Strongholds, Devoy, and Gelsba Outpost. I have already dispatched another adventurer to Gelsba Outpost, so I want to hear head you for Devoy. Who else did you send out? I'm kind of interested to see if uh, I know that person already. Once there, you will meet up with un our undercover agent, Quar Makand. Quay Marakand. To receive his report in the situation. This way, you'll be able to launch a preemptive strike. Find out if the orcs are up to no good. Okay. Okay. So, I bet the orcs are looking for the egg. Yeah. Speak with Quarm. 
Quay Maracan. Either G7 or H7 for a cutscene. He walks back and forth on the path. G7 or H7. I have nothing to fear in here. Don't need to call anybody. G7, H7, this is the guy who walks back and forth on the bridge, right? I think you have to deal with him for one of the Sandoria quests. Missions, that is. I'm gonna kill this guy just for fun. Second monastic cavern. Monastic cavern, is that the one with the crimson orb? Maybe it's over there. What's this? You have a message for me? Captain Rahal has ordered you to deliver. Mm -hmm. Ordered you to deliver my report to him. What should I do? You see, messengers that I believe come from Orcish Empire in the Northern Quan have been turning up here quite often. I managed to listen to their conversations, but I haven't been able to piece together the full extent of their plan just yet. From what I can gather, they appear to be collecting information about the egg, of course, and that it lies somewhere on the Quan's borders. Unfortunately, I have un haven't uncovered anything regarding their motives, so, so you see, until I have more intel, I don't have much to report. What should I do? If only, if only I could steal a map or something like that from one of the messengers they, when they arrived. Yes, that's it. Surely an adventurer of your stature had no problems with such a task. I am quite certain an orc with a map was headed toward the monastic cavern. Please go there and see what you can find out. Truth be told, that orc is a little too much for me to handle. I tried following him before and just ended up getting lost. Normally that's not a problem for me. I'm thinking the orcs must be using some kind of magic to alter the terrain. Hmm. So, H11 entrance to Devoy. H11. Okay, so that's like the... the we're not going to... Um, I'm sorry, the H11 entrance to Monastic Cavern. Um... Yeah, that's, that's the normal Monastic Cavern. Not necessarily the one that you have to get the Crimson Orb for. Um, but anyway. Okay. So, I need to head down to H11 entrance. I will be right back with you when I'm down toward that area. Alright, see you then. Hey look, Steelbiter Gertrude is up. I'm gonna kill it just for funsies. Fire Belcher. Steel biter good rude. Jade cryptex, definitely don't need that. Look at this eighty out of eighty. I don't need a lot of this stuff. Um Morning pistol. No thanks. Shaman garlic. No thanks. Jade cryptics. No thanks. Okay. Be right back. Okay, I'm zoning inside. Okay, head to Monastic Cavern H11. 
touch the ritual site at the border of H10 to H9. Monastic Cavern to be in confrontation with an Orcish Bewitcher. Use his mana font. will automatically receive the Orcish Battle Plan upon defeating the NM. Okay. Geomagnetic Fount. Ritual Sight. Alright. Now, I don't have Apururu um, basically loaded up on this character because I haven't played on him for a while and I've lost access. So I will have to make do with another white mage. I'll do Koru Moru and some other white mage. Um. Um, I guess... Ferris Coffin. <gasps> Orcish Bewitcher! Take Paul Wyvern. Star Diver. Yep. I jump. Super jump. see here in the ritual site. All right, bring the um, Orcish battle plan to return to Quarmashond. Quarmarkhand. All right, so I could escape and re-enter Devoy, or I'll just head back and pause it for your convenience. Okay, see you in a bit. Hey yo, guess who's up? Hawkeye Natbat is up. I just added the Hawk Subjugation Hawkeye Natbat quest. I'm gonna take him out for completion's sake. And there we go. Archer's knife. Alrighty. Okay, you're right back. Here I am. I've killed your orc. You're back, so did you have any luck? You found it. Now let's take a look and see what we got here. It's the Northlands. I wasn't expecting this to be a map of Bosidian Glacier. It's a cursed land. And that egg they were referring to, whatever the orcs are plotting, it gives me considerable worry. I've con I'll continue my investigation here. In the meantime, take this map in my report. I need you to give them to Captain Rahal for me. Okay. I will... Warp out of here. Warp. 
warp. Warp. All right, see you in a second. Seems the rumors Cruella spoke of were true. Forgive me, I had I recently heard rather disturbing news. So how did it go? From the looks of it, you com completed my request without incident. What's this? So the orcs were sending messengers to the Northlands? Although we did not know the details, it's safe to say that this is no ordinary egg that we are talking about. Quite right. If at all possible, we should try to make the first move and find a way to disrupt their fiendish plan. Naturally, if it comes to sending troops to the Northlands, we would have to take our fellow Alliance members into consideration. At any rate, we must first look into secure paths to the Northlands by shoring up defenses in Rajamont Pass. We received reports from a mysterious monster roaming the area. I shall, I shall see the word of this matter gets to Monolaris Halver. However, I had, have a feeling I will, it will do little to betray his fears. Quite opposite, in fact. If Prince Tryon learns of this, he will surely consider uh, it necessary to march in the Northlands and begin making preparations for war. I can foresee all kinds of potential problems. We must approach this situation with utmost, utmost caution. Okay. Next mission is. Next mission is Clady's Concern. Clady's Concern. Okay. Speak with Halber for a cutscene. Hey, look. It's Seika again. Alright, Halber. What do you got? I see you dealt with Rahal's request regarding the ball by the House of Aragot. You have my gratitude. Although I wish you had better news, the orcs haven't could have picked a couldn't have picked a worse time to stir things up. Well, it cannot be helped now. I shall leave the orcs to Rahal. We will take whatever steps are necessary. What steps might those be? You ask. Well, what? Well, when Prince Dryan felt felt ill immediately upon arriving at House Fergot. No white magic potion or prayer could alleviate what ailed him. At first, we thought it was some sort of curse, but we were mistaken. What's that? You think he was faking it the whole thing? Yes. How dare you resmirch the prince's good name? You can be jailed in Boston Obliet for 100 years for slandering the royal family like that. But I am probably right. Of course, I suspected the same thing myself at first. At any rate, if we could prepare some medicine and Prince Tryon falls ill again, we should be able to get through this. That is why I've requested the help of Gardner Shalvat Shalva Tot, who is well versed in herbs and other remedies. I imagine his research ought to be done by now. Please go and see that he has what he has to say. You should be able to find him in Queen Lut Lout Lut Gardens at, at this hour. Head towards Majesty Gardens at seven for a cutscene. Yes, this way. Approaching the thing. Head towards the garden for a cutscene. Now then, Princess, I have selected some flowers to use in your hairpin for the ball. Thank you, Shalvalot. Shalvatot. 
I always, I always have trouble deciding on such things. Very important matter. Everyone's watching your dance with Prince Tryon. I'm sure Queen Loot will be watching over you as well. This won't take long. Okay. Let me guess, I have to go fetch something. People saying Corella prepared to dress for the ball. I suppose stranger things have happened, but I have heard more mere rumors. The ball is the social event for ladies and gentlemen to attend. How can I put this delicately? Yes, you already know that. It is a place to meet potential romantic partners. Yes, indeed. There's a rumor that Count Tulom is the heir and Lady Carilla. You cannot be serious. Medicine for your brother. Please, please leave this to me. I have something, I know something of this matter. Remedy for Prince Tryon not feeling well. Wait a moment, shove a lot. Can I ask you to go find a flower known as the Solidago flower? It's necessary medicine you seek. It's quite rare, so I hear it only blooms somewhere in remote locations. People say finding a Finding one is no easy task. However, I must move quickly in order to help my dear brother. Please tell him where the Solidago flowers are to grow, tend to grow. Uh, Ottawa Chasm in Mindarsha, thank you. Ottawa Chasm. Need to get a sickle and harvest a glowing flower, a harvesting point at H8 to receive a Solidago flower. Okay, do I have any sickles at the moment? Find sickle. I have Nibiru sickles and 12 sickles in my case. All right, so case, sickle. I will now warp to the home point in Ottawa Chasm. There's no fight for this one. So far, each of these sets of quests have only been one non fight in each set. Hey, look, it's Jar Jar Binks. You said Jar Jar Binks. Shoo shoo. Nope. Um. Not called Shoo Shoo? Where is it? Is it. Isn't it called Shoo Shoo? I have to have that home point. I have to. Called Shoo Shoo. No way I don't have that home point. It can't be. Out of a chasm. Orogeno. Okay. Um, do I still not have a Regino? Fargande, Veldunia, it should be right around here. I have no home points in a Regino. Which means I don't have that home point. Are you kidding me? 
I guess Unity Warp 125 will do. Sandoria. Southern Sandoria. Exit. Yes. Yeah. Boneyard Gully. That's right next to that one, but I, maybe I did the quest before that home point was added and I just never needed to go back. But now I do, apparently. All right, Erbio Lane. Um, Unity Warp 125. Atoa Chasm. So, home point is the fastest way to get there. From the home point, head southwest to F6 and you'll come out in the large western side of the map. Hug the wall left and you'll be able to re enter the tunnel. Make your way around to H8 at this point. Okay, well, I'm pretty close to it, whatever it is. Um, harvesting point at H8. H8. So it is in the middle of all of that. It's in the middle of that, uh, the whole section there along the chasm part. So I will mount up um, and might as well grab the home point. Can I get out of here this way? Or am I going to get stopped by a miasma? Nope, we're clear. Did you all know about this mount? The Omega mount? Or I guess Proto Omega rather is to be more accurate. He's so huge, he doesn't even fit inside these small caves. It might be the biggest mountain in the game. He is like falling off of the crevice, off of the thing. Like it's totally awkward here. There should be records of evidence quest to get all home points. You've registered a new home point. All right, so uh, head to the home point. From the home point, head southwest F6, and you'll come out on the large western side of the map. Hug the wall left, and you'll be able to re-enter the tunnel. Re-enter the tunnel. Really? Make your way to H8 from this point. Head southwest to F6. Well, there's nowhere to go there. And up here is also nowhere to go, so we have to go outside here. Why does it say home point is the fastest way to get there when I could have just uh, unity warped closer to it? Do they not know about Unity Warps? All right, so head southwest. You'll come out to a large western area map. Hug the left wall, and you'll be able to re-enter the tunnel. Okay, hugging the left wall. Hugging the left wall. Left wall is being hugged. Okay. Yeah, the um, Unity Warp is definitely closer. It's like right there. All right. 
making my way through the tunnel of the... Wait. Yeah. I saw a dot on my screen. Turns out that's my wyvern. So, back out here. Make your way to H8 from this point. I'm at G7. Across one more and down one more. H7 and H8. So there should be a harvesting point somewhere around here. Right there. Is this the only harvesting point in this whole area? Sickle. Soli doggo flower. Got it. Turn back to the garden. Speak to Shavalot. Return to Halver for a cutscene. By the way, if you're curious, any of you who play Final Fantasy XI know that you've probably played this game more than any other game that you've ever played. Unless you started playing on WoW and you've been dedicated to WoW, it's the game that you've played the most is an MMO of some kind. It's gotta be. Because it's not unheard of to get 100 hours in a Final Fantasy game, or maybe 100 hours in other various games but to but you call those you could also call 100 hours like a few days of game time in Final Fantasy 11 you have to count your time in in some cases years of playtime literally entire years of playing and my playtime on this character is 580 days 580 days. Um, that's a lot. 580 divided by 365. That is 1.59 years of playtime. That's insane. This character I started in 2012. Previous to that, in 2004, I started my original character. 2004 through 2009, I had that or so. Um, and that had at least a year of playtime as well. Um, I started... Um, I played a couple different characters after that in, in between. I just kind of like borrowed friends' characters until I no longer had access to those characters. And then I started with this one in 2012. And I've been playing on and off with the same character since, but I've also played quite a bit on some private servers. So all in all, it is not unreasonable for me to tell you that I've had maybe four years of playtime. Maybe. Three to four years of playtime is not unreasonable. Maybe two to three. But, obviously, you know, if you're watching me play this game, then you know what I'm talking about.
Uh, Reku. What are those? What do you got going on here, uh, Reku? Uh, style locked. It's pretty fancy red mage we got here. Refresh plus three on the hat. Refresh plus four on that. That's refresh plus seven total. Refresh plus seven. Treasure hunter on the legs. Volte hose. Huh. All jobs. Huh. What's Volte hose? That was seven, that's eight. Refresh plus eight on this guy, and I think there's still there might be a ring also another ring also that he could get. I mean you could get a non plus one of those of that same ring. I think it might still have refresh on it. Okay, back to the garden. All right, got you your flower. This adventurer kindly agreed to help my request, isn't that right? Siladago flower. I'm about to tell you a Sandorian royal family secret. However, I feel comfortable telling you because I require your assistance on, with a certain matter. Can I swear to your, to your secrecy? Can I swear you to secrecy? Of course. I appreciate your discretion. The truth is, the Solodago flower is not for my brother. In fact, it is the very thing that caused him to fall ill in the first place. What? There was once a young woman who wore this flower in her hair upon visiting House Vergot. My brother took ill soon after meeting this woman. My brother, who hates attending balls, as a matter of course, saw this as an opportunity to get out of his duties. That is the truth behind the mon Monolaris Haver was talking about. Shalvatat looked into the matter and apparently has something to do with our particular body composition. Yes, I believe it is known as allegorical reaction, or maybe it was allergen reaction. It's quite the mystery. Aside from my brother and me, no one else is adversely affected by the flower. It affects me just like the flower. Ugh. Princess. Peppermint that grows in the ground here is capable of counteracting the strange effects that the flower has on our bodies. However, very few people know about this, not even Halber. Could I ask you to leave this particular matter out of your report when you can report back to him? Please simply tell him we prepared some medicine for Tryon. There's nothing to worry about. We grow the peppermint here in the garden. We now have this rare Solidago flower here. Thanks to you, it will not grow back or fall into someone else's hands for a little while at least. I shall dispose of the flowers and counting on you to handle the rest. Okay. Okay. So they wanted to get it out of the possible potential hands of somebody who would use it against them. Or so it would seem. Hover. Uh, 
Prepare the medicine. It's good news. House for got balls coming up soon. I shall sleep more soundly at night, although still one problem remaining. Prince Tryon's dance partner, Princess Clady. Not feeling well. It should be replaced with Kurila. You see, Prince Tryon does not really be called dancing. Cannot really be called dancing. Required skill individual to keep up with him. Kurila will be sharing the first dance in the house Tula May at this ball. Uh, first dance, simpler times, simpler terms, romantic compatibility, Chateau Orgil. Cannot stop talking about it. A matter of time before General Carilla and Temple Knights becomes Marquise Carilla instead. trouble thinking of any other possible replacements for Clady aside from Carilla. Therefore, it's imperative that Princess Clady be healthy enough to attend the ball. Alright. Okay. And I do need to zone to start the next quest, I believe. Glad to see you. I'm afraid a rather unfortunate incident has occurred. Princess Clady collapsed on the floor. I found, although she does not appear to be suffering from a fever, I do not have the strength to stand. She doesn't does not have the strength to stand. We have had both doctor and friar examine her. The cause of affliction remains a mystery. The king said she simply tried, and she should not worry. But still, uh, who will be Prince Tryon's dance partner now? There's no need to get yourself all worked up, however. Here's Prince Tryon. I am sorry that all your work behind the scenes at the ball has been for naught. One can socialize at the ball without dancing, you know? My father can be stuck in his ways sometimes. With all due respect, Prince Tryon, I believe you're downplaying the significance of the dance. Dancing is a form of nonverbal communication. You must press forward your partner at times, but also meet them halfway in others. Prince Clady, usual replacement, Kurilla, declined because she's too busy. No, she's not busy. She was asked to first dance of Lord Gaten, heir to the House of Tulame. What did you just say? I imagine some difficulties may arise due to their differences in status, but Kurilla would make a fine countess. In fact, it's quite possible that she ends up being the one keeping Lord Gaten in check. Would you not agree, Prince Tryon? She reminds me, could I ask my younger sister? We could always ask my younger sister. Your what? She would be a perfect replacement. She is a skilled dancer, and unlike me, she is quite, actually quite fetching. Although, as the captain of the Carmine Swallows, she is usually rather busy. Your sister, I refuse. Well... Did he really have to be so forceful with his rejection? At any rate, I doubt he'll be able to come up with a better idea. There is nobody other than my sister, than my sister Altena, Altenia, that can take Princess Clady's place. Unfortunately, my sister's unit is currently away in the kingdom and hunt down a monster that appeared at Ratchamont Pass. Wait, I know. Take this letter to Altenia, summon her to the capital. Okay. Okay.
Alright, so I need to go to Rangemont Pass, survival guide's the fastest way, touch the vicious claw marks at J8 to begin the confrontation with the harnessed Smilodon. So, uh, I will pause for you and see you in a second. Alright, here I am coming up on some vicious claw marks. I don't know what this uh, guy is all about, but I will prepare myself. Morrow Ferris Coffee. Harnessed Smilodon. Oh, look, he is harnessed. Interesting, different uh, thing. The tape. Star Diver. Jump. I jump. Or Star Diver. And super jump. There she is, Altenia. What is that Smilodon that I chased here? Tell me, Adventurer, where is the Smilodon I chased here? What? You managed to slay it by yourself? Uh, mostly. Most impressive. Would you join me in my unit to hone your skills even further? That was a joke. I did not mean to put you on the spot, Adventurer. At any rate, your help is appreciated. That monster has been attacking anybody who ventured through this pass. That is why we were sent out here, but we found it rather fleet of foot. Okay. Strangely, the peculiar species is unusually found in Razoa continent uh, to, the, to the north. Uh, really? Razawa continent to the north? Smilodons? This particular species, I guess. Uh, we need to investigate what it's doing down here. Okay. Turn to Halberg for a cutscene after this. Reward for your trouble. Feel my gratitude. I do not have anything to give you at the moment. Please visit the castle in Sandoria at some time. Just ask for Atenia, Knight of the Sandoria, and you'll take you to me. Okay. What's that? You need to speak to me about something. A ball? Is he serious? She doesn't seem very interested. Supposed to head north to investigate a mysterious egg up there. Please forget what I just said. I simply meant to say that I cannot abandon my mission. You understand, right? Of course. Thank you for understanding. Actually, I imagine a venturer like yourself have heard the news of the egg somewhere. If you ever hear word of the egg, please tell Lord Rahal or, or Lord Eximiel of the Royal Knights. Naturally, you can tell Lady Carilla of the Temple Knights, too. Actually, maybe you should tell her something else instead. About her dance partner that my brother mentioned in this letter, Lord Gaten can be rather, rather incorrigible men at times. He is quite infamous among the knights. He may be difficult for her to refuse him.
If the prince simply says that he wants to dance with Kirilla, everything will be resolved. Oh, it seems my unit is looking for me. I must be going. Hmm. Okay. She looks to be a dragoon as well. Now then, take care of your journey here, adventurer. I hope to see you again someday. Or maybe a samurai, maybe a warrior. Alright. So, now back to... Halber. Be right back. All right, here I am, back with Halber. Can't believe my adorable sister would turn her back on her own brother like this. This is no time to be crying. Now that I think about it, my dear sister is right. Speak with Tryon. Yeah. Speak with Tryon. Convince him to dance with Gorilla. I know why you are here, although I do not exactly understand what Halver means. So basically you are here to change my mind about this matter. In this case, how about you do so via test of strength? Okay. Talk about Kurilla. Does it matter? Central so talk to Tryon. Talk about Kurilla. About Altenia. Talk about the egg. Do you mean like an imperial omelet? No. I think he knows. Just as you say, I've also had heard that he is not a not a very friendly person. Characters in question, rather dour personality. How will you convince him? Do I do you want to see Halper cry? What happened to Puige? Don't you want to dance with Kirilla? Actually, it's not like I don't want to dance with her. Since I'm unable to dance with Clady, Kirilla is the only one left I can keep up with me. I can say that for certain. I approach everything I do straight on and with utmost effort. She's the only one who can, come, who can match me. Have you heard why she hides her left eye? In that case, I'll spare you the details. However, it's true that I'm directly involved with the matter. That is as much proof as anything that she is on my level. No, she is beyond me. of strength. Yeah, look at that quite nice sword he's got there. That's a uh, Sandorian sword if I've ever seen one. If you're going to get me to change my mind. 
inventory and sword and shield right there. Blades, fists, and feelings. Meet me at Bostono Obliet. That is where the two of us should settle this matter. It should be a battle to the death. Okay. Alright, we're gonna fight Prince, Prince Tryon, I guess. Um, also. Click the door of Tryon's room, the northern door in the central garden for another cutscene. Okay, head to Boston o Obliette from the chateau. Your destination is the top floor, so don't drop down to the pit. Okay, I will not. Touch the frigid confluence at H9, top floor, to begin a confrontation with Tryon. Uses Invincible at low HP. He can use it as soon as he's down to 75% HP remaining. Fight ends with a short cutscene. Speak with Kirilla at the end. Okay, so... Where am I going again? Frigid Confluence at H9. I meant H already. It says do not drop, so I will not, I guess. Frigid Confluence. Alright, what do I need? Archangel. Let's try with just my recent usual. up with uh holy huh star diver jump high jump bombs torment super jump Archangel EV has got this quite an impressive uh, specimen here. Also, Hablon's Torment. Spain. out there realize I am not playing the job right, so I'm not even using all these abilities. But, whatever. Uh, okay. Basically, he's invincible. I'm on this torment.
start over. Jump. Alright. I feel amazing. This is the greatest burden has been lifted from my shoulders. I never expected a mere adventurer such as yourself to do so much for me. Now then, I suppose I should go and speak with Kirilla. Okay. I shall as well, just like the wiki says. right nearby. I know Kirilla well. Had to get Savage Blade many times. Ah, it's you, adventurer. I was about to begin training with Prince Tryon when he told me something rather startling. Apparently, he knew of my plans to dance with Lord Gaten at the Count of Vygots, Vergot's Ball, and that would not be necessary. Well then. After 21 years, it's about time, Mr. Tryon. I have something for you along with this message. Oliver tells me that Prince Tryon will be speaking to me directly about the dancing, about us dancing together, and that this is something I received from His Highness. What do I get? I could scroll up on my wiki screen right now and see, but I'm gonna be surprised. This means you are responsible for bringing Prince Tryon to me. Yes. I cannot thank you enough. I cannot attain Twin Shield. Okay. Too much junk. Bat wing. I knew I shouldn't have killed that bat. Yagudo blue. Earthen body. M feet. Really don't need those either, but I will. Talk to her again. Twin shield, please. Ah. Twin shield. There it is. All jobs. Ah, in that case, I can go to the Nagling and Twin Shield combo just for fun. Yes, yes. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that ends this particular quest. The next one, I have to wait a game day after completing Kirilla Unleashed to begin this mission. And the game day is going to be quite a while. But I need to take a break anyway. So I will pause this and wait to the... Maybe this will end the video. Maybe I'll finish later. Bear with me while I figure it out. In the meantime, maybe see you in a second. Maybe see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And I'm back and I realize after reading a little bit further in that the next mission after this one that I'm waiting for the next game day I need to grab a doll gizmo 
from the Temple of Ugalepi. And I can do that now while I wait a little bit longer. It is still 1950, um, so it's not that long until the next game day, but um, in the meantime, might as well go grab that. It's from a um, manipulator in Temple of Oogly Boogly. Now the manipulator is spawn time every 15 minutes. Time to spawn every 15 minutes at I-10 or to J-10 on map 2. Is that the one that roams around? That room with the steps on either side? Um, maybe. It might be. So, um, I guess I'll go to the um, survival guide here while I look into where that is exactly. Unity NM125 is quick way to reach this NM. Um, hard shield. Yeah, I think it's that one that roams around. Temple of Oogly Boogly. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I know how to get there easily. Um, so I will go to the survival guide for Temple of Oogly Boogly. Still gonna aggro me. Not fully loaded in yet, so maybe he will. Maybe not. All right, so. People, other people that are working on this quest might be going for the manipulator as well. So hopefully I can get in there. Or get there and get him. Strong sword. See something big moving around? There it is. Give me your dull gizmo, please. You're gonna make me savage blade you? Gizmo. All right, so I don't need all this stuff. I put these somewhere else. Definitely don't need the sickle in here. I should deposit all these crystals 
away. Um, <sighs> dog. Done, Zer Felix. I see the ball of House Fargot was a rousing success. Everyone was quite astonished by Prince Tryon's performance. Indeed, he exceeded all expectations. Okay. That's good. Okay, talk to Prince Tryon. Or I guess I'm going there now. See, the orchestrator behind the events has finally decided to grace us with his presence. We were just heading, at, hearing about Arella's performance at the ball the other day. She glided across the dance floor, radiating elegance as her sun-kissed hair caught the eye of those in attendance. With each sweeping turn, quiet voices of admiration rose with, rose with the crowd, within the crowd. Time for me to serve as Kirillus standby instead. First roll problems here, folks. Glad that my brother was finally able to admit his true feelings. Honestly, I was worried that he might not ever realize how he felt about her. Okay, who's there? What's happening? Important news. What's the matter? We have received an urgent message from the unit that was dispatched to the North Lines. Captain Rahal is waiting for you in the Knights, Royal Knights quarters. Tenia, you helped her take down a monster in Rajamon Pass without any concern for your own safety. I believe she spoke with you about information regarding an egg, yes? She 
She had no idea the information about the egg was linked to the report he received from the Parmesan. I already spoke with Prince Tryon in regards to the matter he, after he returned from the ball, just as proper investigation was about to be launched. Based on the egg that I recently reported, the orcs are searching for, and an analysis of the map I obtained, Deltenia and the Carmine Swallows headed north, were, but were attacked by someone. I am asking who that someone is, Rahal, yet we have, we have yet to ascertain that information, but we do believe it to be an orc. Exit meal. Try on next to meal M. Orashat. Or Shiat. At your service. Welcome, Lord Next Meal. After receiving word from Rahal, I immediately reached out to a friend who still resides in Razawa. I was able to learn the identity of the messenger who was in frequent contact with the orcs in Devoy and shed some light on the clandestine activities of a certain division. same time, I received news from several ships that crossed the Nosto, Nosto Ocean on Razawa on their way to the Northern Kwan. Upon analysis of that information, I found that the 3rd Silver, Silver Owl Brigade's strike unit, led by Slackjawed Muckdrum, was sent to the Northlands. Muckdrum. We have faced him numerous times throughout, the Raz throughout Razawa. His unit is a vile bunch who would rather enjoy sheer brutality. Do you mean to say that the Alt that Altenia's unit encountered the orc division sent in search of the egg? Yes, I believe that's reasonable. Okay. Refuse to abandon hope. We must dispatch a rescue at, one, rescue at once. Okay, and that's gonna be me, of course. Yes, I will help you with your rendezvous. Listening Glacier is the survival guide. Touch the ferric stench H8 next to the east side of the tower to begin the confrontation. Ferric stench eight H8. Okay. I'll be right back with you. I have found the ferric stench right at this tower in H8. I will bring out my friends. Best tank. This time, though, I will bring out more. Because it looks like it's going to be four enemies. I'll need two mages. Moru Moru. 
Various coffin. Ferric stench. Artist is still a dot again. Jump. Meditate. I take hate on everybody so whenever somebody heals me, they will grab hate from me. Plus, I will shed my hate right now with my jumping. Blade. I will use weapon skill. Amnesia? What the heck? This new interesting looking orcs. Brand new orcs. That's cool. This is a minute plus long amnesia. What the heck? Well, as well, touch the ferret cutscene. Ferret thing, ferret cutscene. God. All right. Surely I have received permission from the king, the prince, to come here. I am well versed in the art of guerrilla tactics. I, am propo I propose that I am able to disrupt the enemy forces until Prince Trion's unit arrives. Although I have opportunity to present itself, I will take out the commander myself. The 3rd Silver Owl Brigade's strike unit is led by Slackjawed Muckdrum and under the direct command of the Emperor. The Emperor? The Emperor is a the commander of an orc is the Emperor? Hm. 
It's high time we sought vengeance for those who slaughtered these foul swine, Razala. map with them and had to guess they would say details of the area of Altana's men. I'll be curious about the lack of bodies and sign of our units encampment. Carried here, where could it have gone? I know where it is. It is down by J6 slash I6. Should go check that out right away. Okay. This is located next to the mirror pond along the way to Feyin, past the Gargantua Tower. Okay. I know right where that is. I will head there and be right back with you later. And yes, I started going the wrong way, but now I'm back on track. Thank you. Alright, I'm here at the pond. Looking for a... Something... Lower, lowest left corner of intersection located next to the mirror pond. Okay, point of interest. Point of interest, I saw it, I saw it. tracks here. Hmm, the top of that cliff looks rather suspicious. If we can get a grapnel, we can catch just right. If we can get this grapnel to catch just right. Okay, Sir Felix, ready to scale this cliff? Whatever you do, try not to fail. Try not to fall, not fail. <gasps> Look at all these orcs! Mod Brob, what are you swine up to? Slack jaw, buck drum. chances here. You again. Just die already. My name is Exit Meal. It seems no matter how many times that I introduce myself, it is never enough. Although, I shall keep doing so, as you will be unable to, to ask once you are dead. Quaken in fear of me deep inside Feyin. You wait till our ritual is over. Your ritual. After ritual done, we celebrate with feast and slaughter of your of for you for all. Slaughter you all for laughs.
<gasps> An egg. You know this egg, no? This is the ordinary egg. This is the world eater egg. It contained mighty power to destroy entire world. Kraken. I crack egg and eat, eat insides. And then I eat you puny night prisoners. Hmm. The egg does not break. our chance we should retreat for the time being. At the entrance to Fein to rescue the friends. Okay. Okay, Zona to Fein for a cutscene. Obtain Gall Doll Gizmo, it's hundred percent drop from the manipulator, blah blah blah. Okay. Trade Doll Gizmo to NPC Talos. Okay. So, Zona to Fein. So zoning in for a cutscene. Then I need to go to the basement. And trade the doll gizmo that I got a little while ago to an NPC for another cutscene. unusual ruins. According to legend, this place is inhabited by an ancient civilization. If the orcs are using this place, there's, there should be not any kind of traps to worry about. There should not be any kind of traps to worry about. Therefore, we should, should split up and try to find the captured knights. Sure. It is the injured that worry me most. The monsters are attracted to the smell of blood. Furthermore, the monsters are mostly are here mostly made up of the undead, making it even more dangerous. We have to hurry. I'll search the western side, you take the east. Muckdrum did not mention anything, but I imagine the room will, where the knights are being held will be rigged and prevent their escape. Also, it goes without saying, but stay alert all times down here. in here is no big deal. A 
Although I probably will get some sound aggro. Don't necessarily want to deal with it. But that's not till they get to the basement, so we'll see. Trade the dog as well to the NPC Talos on H7 map 2. Play second, so into the pay in for a cutscene. Obtain a dull gizmo, 100% drop from manipulator, controlling the big room. Trade the gun. dull gizmo to the NPC Talos. It doesn't really give you any other anything else besides that. This says he just says pay attention. There may be some traps down here. Seems like the the game should tell you a little more than just you know stay alive down here. But whatever. NPC Talos at H7. I'm at G8. Now I'm at H8. Now I'm gonna go north and get up to seven. what I see. H7. Doesn't show up on the map, but it should be green. There's a bunch of green stuff up here. Let's see. scan. Oh. It's not a... Okay, it's just a targetable thing here. Talos. Okay. Hello there, Talos. There's a doll preventing you from opening the door. Examine it. And if you can find a way to power it. Okay. Dull gizmo. Okay. I am amazed you managed to find us here. You have fought many orcs in my day, but the unit led by Muckdrum was a whole new level. They must have been an elite or orcish unit from up in the Northlands looking for the egg. They probably had level 119 gear. Not long ago, one of our scouts spotted what appeared to be an egg on the cliffs on the cliff of northern Brosity Glacier, but the orcs beat us to it. I'm worried what'll happen if they manage to break open the egg before we can stop them. Muckdrum said something about um, obtaining untold power before he can, and he can break the egg open. If he can break the egg open. It appears that someone was talking to Muckdrum's subordinates. subordinates. We must stop them.
I witnessed a mock drum fail when he tried to open the egg. Altenia, I heard about what happened to Nice being held in the other room. They told me how I risked your life in order to save as many people as possible. I was only doing what you taught me. When facing an opponent, you have no chance of beating it. Proposing a one-on-one -on -one duel may lead to new possibilities. That advice works especially well against orcs. Even still, I was unable to save everybody. Okay. The World Eater Egg. Otherwise known as the Wii. Return to the point of interest in the northeast section of Boston English. Okay, fine. Alright, so I'm gonna run back there and I'll be right back with you. Alright, I'm back. Back at the point of interest, and I think possibly spawns right away. So let me bring out my fellows here. Climb the cliff, yes. Okay. The grapnel is still here. Ah, uh, gloom phantom. I said I gloom phantom. Mog Bihu, Dasbog. And our group is the Destiny Destroyers. Enough, you shut up already. You answered Lord Muckdrum at once. The sword can that sword can break the world eater egg. I told you I have an important duty. This is my destiny. Important, you just smashed egg. You just smashing egg. Even mighty Lord Muckdrum could break it. <laughs> if Goblin can break it open egg, Lord Muckdrum embarrassed. <laughs> you smash open World Eater Egg with sword, but ultimate power belonged to me, yes? Sure, I have no need for such power. <laughs> Goblins are tricky. That's because you're only good for breaking egg. Alright, where are the Yugudo? They think they got the egg, but they didn't. Good. You all know the role. We're not able to handle egg contents anyway. Seize the power of the egg and devour everything. Okay, time to smash. No, it ain't. I will break open the egg and leave the rest to you. Okay, guys, here I go. Oh my 
guys, let's get out of here. Careful. Okay, press again, I assume. Here's a muck drum. Ooh, be strong. Not strong enough either. I'm dead. Is this the power of the world eater egg? so much. Stay in the egg's contents, but these humans are much tougher than expected. I'm surprised they defeat a mighty creature. That sword. We should probably deal with that orcs atop the cliff first. signs of life up here. The egg's power seems to turn them against each other, or perhaps turn them into something else entirely. I'm going to examine the location where the World Eater egg was located. I need you to return to Sandori and update Prince Try on what's transpired here. By the time you reach the capital, I imagine the rescue unit will be sent by Rahal will have returned with Altania and the others. Okay. Oh. 
Chateau de Oregil. Okay, be right back. And we're here at Tryon's room for the final cutscene, I believe. Upon hearing Lord Exmiel's report regarding your efforts to, against the orcs up north, you must tell me what happened. Here's what happened. And it was the World Eater Egg. Its contents caused such an event to transpire. Brother Exemil said in his report that the Orcus unit was eaten by the egg. I imagine this egg contains some kind of creature that devours anything placed before it. Pardon the interruption, I have urgent news. I simply apologize for failing in my duties and all the damage inflicted upon us. That is why we must quickly gather and analyze the information we have now. Then we will be sure to that such a mistake will not happen again. Mokdrum was defeated after obtaining the power of the World Eater Egg. However, his corpse vanished the moment that he was taken down. We have no way of knowing where the egg's power originated from. After the battle, there was no trace of the egg to be found. What is the purpose of the World Eater Egg? When I was held prisoner, I overheard Orcs happily saying how they found the egg before some other beastmen did. Interesting. That must be those beastmen that were also searching for the egg. Amiibo with them. The beastmen that can, that can withstand the power of the egg. I suppose that would make them the ultimate beastmen. 20 years ago, a similar ultimate being appeared, and now it is happening again. The Shadow Lord. It can't be. We cannot be certain, however, in fact, it might be something even worse. Like the astral candescence, it may also affect people, not just the beastmen. It is also possible that there are more than one egg out there, too. What could these beastmen be planning? We must capture these three beastmen in order and learn their intentions. Rahal, I want you and Altenia to gather information and you can, you, any information you can, and start tracking them. Yes, my prince. As for Felix, if you encounter these beastmen trio again, you must get them to reveal their plans by any means necessary. If such an event comes to pass, you may freely invoke my name as needed. In that case, brother, you should, perhaps you should give him, you know what. Aha, that is an excellent suggestion, my dear brother. Mr. Felix, I would like to reward you with my meritorious service. Reward you for your, for your meritorious service. I am certain you'll require assistance again in the future. Personally, I think we should have gone with a gold one instead, but oh well. Sweet. That reminds me, a father once spoke of discussing an egg with Sir Valenero. Twinned Blade and Matt's Mix. Okay. 
that is it for Crisis Resurgence 3 and the Twin Blade. Is level one, one job, level one, all jobs. Twin blade is a sword. Let me put that on. Wonder if I get any bonuses for wearing the twin blade and the twin shield. Probably not. So that will be the end of this section. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for part four. Bye bye now.